And tonight, a semi driver is safe. Look at this video. She ended up dangling over the Ohio River on a bridge connecting southern Indiana and Louisville. Yeah, we broke this news during 13 News at Noon today, and since then, our sister station in Louisville has been all over this story as firefighters worked to rescue that driver. Jose Alonzo introduces us to the firefighter who saved the driver's life. Things were a little crazier earlier this afternoon as a semi truck is hanging off of the bridge and we're talking about this bridge right here on 2nd Street here in Louisville and we did hear from Louisville Fire Department today about how exactly and what exactly went down during this entire situation and we also spoke to the firefighter who was on the harness and rescued a woman out of that truck. She was just praying. She was praying a lot, so uh, and I prayed with her. During the run, uh, it just second nature. Your training takes over. Like I said, we've done it a hundred times, so uh, you just think about everything slows down and you think about what needs to be done. Firefighter Bryce Carden was the man hanging off the bridge rescuing a woman out of a semi truck after a collision with several other vehicles caused this to happen. Just, she was thinking, you know, thank God. That's what she kept saying, thank God. And I, I told her, I said, just. Take a deep breath and then here's what I need you to do because I need her to assist in, you know, moving certain ways to be able to get the harness on right. An entire team of 30 firefighters assessing the scene to help make this a successful rescue. It was, it was a team effort without everybody doing their job. We wouldn't be able to have a successful rescue. It's extremely lucky. Uh, not so much that it would detach from the trailer, but just that the entire truck didn't go into the river. This is a once in a career type of thing. Unless uh, somebody here has done this many times. <laughs> no, <laughs> this is extremely unique. As you can see, that truck is still hanging off the bridge as officials try to assess how exactly they're going to be getting it off. Now, officials did say that the bridge is going to be closed overnight so they can make sure they have a plan to clear that and to make sure that it is accessible for everybody else tomorrow. And we did hear from officials that these weather conditions are not ideal as it is cold and wet, but that did not stop them from saving that woman. Reporting in Louisville, Jose Alonso, 13 News. That video was stunning, wasn't it? I mean, Absolutely. it looked like it was something out of a Hollywood movie. Yeah, the wow. professionals did their job. They did. So in the last 30 minutes, we got an update about that bridge closure. So they originally thought it would reopen by tomorrow morning, but now they're not sure how long that's going to all take. That's because they've got to bring in specialized equipment. So let's give you a live look at the bridge right now. If you look closely, you can still see the truck hanging over the water on the side of the bridge. It's probably a little easier to see the trailer still in the air from this angle as crews work to get it back to safety. All right, so if you're heading that way either tonight or tomorrow, <laughs> be sure to check to see if the bridge has been reopened tonight. The